Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and I'm going to show you how to add multiple currencies to your Shopify store. So what are multiple currencies? Uh, if you have a store, for example, this development one that I just made, uh, you'll be able to allow your customers to view your products and the pricing, right? So if a customer comes and it's a, U a US store, they'll see, you know, this product is 100, this is 179, etc. If you have international customers, you can allow them to have a, a currency switcher to see your products in different prices, right? So for example, this product is $100. Uh, if I do offer Canadian dollars, customer can click and obviously see in the, the local price, 148 Canadian dollars. Okay, so how do you do that? So it's really, really simple. There's very few things we can do. Um, and let's just just jump into it. So first of all, you log into your backend store, your backend uh, Shopify, and you click on settings, and you go to payment providers. Now this video shows you the default of Shopify, which means you can only use Shopify payments for multiple currencies. Okay, so this, this is the most default way. So what do you do? If you use Shopify payments, if, if you enabled it, it'll look a little bit different from here because this is a development site, but you'll have a manage, a, a manage link right here. And uh, because this is a development site, I did something almost identical, which is I set up the Shopify development payments. So you don't need to do what I did, but on live site, you'd go to the Shopify payments, click on manage. For me, uh, it's here. It's a, it's a development gateway. So it's the same as the Shopify gateway and you'll just click on manage, right? On yours. So I click on the, the what we call the bogus gateway or the fake one, and you're gonna click on the actual one on your live site. So what do you see? I'm gonna scroll down. You're gonna see the same things. One of the things you're gonna see here by default, and I'm gonna remove this, is you're gonna see the currency section. And by default, if you haven't done this already and you're watching this video, most likely this is what you're gonna see. Sell in multiple currencies. So when you set up a store, by default, you have your default currency. For example, USD, US dollar. So you're gonna click on add, and you're gonna figure out who is your target audience? Who is coming to your website? What currencies do you wanna allow? So in this case, I'm gonna allow, for example, I'm gonna type in the search box, Canadian dollars, and for example, Mexican peso. You can add many, obviously, right? So you gotta think about it. Once you do that, it's gonna be added here. You can actually save it and proceed. But I wanna show you one more thing. So if you click here on the arrow, you'll be able to see how the prices convert. So for example, 10 USD would convert into 15 Canadian dollars. The reason for that, a few things. Um, number one is the, the Shopify has an integrated con currency converter. So what they're going to do is uh, they're going to take the currency, the, the currency that's your default, in this case, US dollars, and they're going to multiply that by whatever the converted price for the Canadian dollar or the other currencies. But they're also going to have some kind of um, currency converter fee. So there's some additional small fee that's in addition. And then the same thing goes for Mexican peso, right? So if 10 US dollar would be 245. So you can actually see how it is. Now, one more thing you can do is you can edit the rounding. But before you edit the rounding, you didn't need it. You need to make sure that rounding is enabled here, right below. If you don't want to round it, um, you it doesn't. You don't have to. But I've never really seen a store that doesn't have this enabled because, uh, you know, for example, if the US dollar to Canadian dollar is you know one point, let's say two one something, then a hundred US dollars would be. Uh, you know, 121.47 or some, some weird number. So you don't want your customers to go and browse and see very, very strange numbers. In addition, many sites, many countries have standards. Like it's pretty common to see like .00 or .95 in US. Um, but in some countries, there's no decimals, et cetera. So you want to kind of think about what is your rounding logic. So if you go here, Canadian dollar, I can click on edit rounding and I can round them to these different things. So here are these uh, possible selections, right? So I can round them to a, a round number, I can round them to a 99, 95, et cetera. So let's go and round it to 25 just for the sample. I'm gonna round this, and then the, the Mexican dollar I'm gonna keep default. So let's look at it for a second. Okay, so Mexican peso, excuse me. Um, here, rounding, I'm just gonna keep it as normal, and this is on, okay? So now everything should be saved. So if I refresh, my website, okay, so I can go here, for example, this all-star is $100, and I want to go to Canadian dollars, 
and I go here and you see it's 148.25, right? Everything is dot twenty-five, dot twenty-five, dot twenty-five, right? So you can see what, what it, the the concept, okay? So that's pretty much it. So um, let me think about one more thing. So um, now customers can go and they can browse. So uh, if uh, th this video assumes two things, okay? Number one is you use Shopify payments. And the second thing is to make sure your theme actually supports multiple currencies. If you follow the steps that I've done and this does not appear, there's no currency switcher, means your theme doesn't support. So you have to ask your developer to go and add a section in the place you want, for example, in the header here on the right, to add that. It's pretty simple, should take a developer, you know, one, two, three hours, it should be pretty pretty quick, depending on the complexity, of course. So um, that's, that's it. Uh, the other thing that, it, that we need to consider is the multiple currencies, multiple payments in different currencies is available only on the front end, only on the, the customer facing site. If your business accepts back end orders, okay, or drafts, right? If you actually create an order, like you get a phone call, for example, and the customer wants to pay by phone, you cannot cre create the orders via different currencies. They have to be the default. So if I click here on a draft, and I go and I select my products, for example, let's just say the sticker, I'm selling it. It's always going to use the USD. You cannot support uh, payments in the different currencies, it's just not the default of Shopify. Okay. Um, other than that, uh, that's it. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer this. Hope this makes sense. Uh, again, really, really happy that you're viewing this video and happy to answer any questions. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.